friends, I am Sheetal and welcome back to Target Study YouTube channel. Some people work primarily to earn money. Some people work to earn name and fame. Some other work with sense of pride. Some of you may be joining jobs because of your inherent patriotism and urge to serve your nation. And there are some who want to enter such a profession in which they could play a part in lowering the suffering of the people as well as earn their livelihood. And you all know that profession is medicine. And the commonly known profession of the field of medicine are doctors, nurses, pharmacists, lab technician and other support staff. But today in this video, I'm going to tell you about one such medicinal professional which play equally important role in reducing the suffering of their patients and that medical professional is a physiotherapist. Being physiotherapist can be a good choice if you want a rewarding career that allows you to make a difference in people's lives and have job satisfaction. So guys, in my endeavor to help you an insight to this profession, I'm going to tell you about various facts of the profession, like who a physiotherapist is, what are the eligibility conditions for becoming a physiotherapist, what are the skills required to become a physiotherapist, how to become a physiotherapist, which entrance exams are there to become a physiotherapist, what are the career options and job profiles after becoming a physiotherapist, what are the pay packages or salary of a physiotherapist and much more. So guys, let us start with the very basic question and that question is, who exactly a physiotherapist is? Essentially a physiotherapist, also known as a physical therapist, is a health professional who assesses and treats people who are suffering from physical problems caused by disease, injury, illness or even the natural aging process. Physiotherapists help patients build strength and rehabilitate. Physiotherapists give advice about lifestyle and exercise and use manual therapy such as massage to aid healing and recovery. Physiotherapists treat a wide range of ailments, so specialization is possible in areas such as pediatrics, orthopedics, sports physical therapy, neurology and clinical electrophysiologic and cardiopulmonary therapy. Now I would like to tell you about the eligibility conditions for becoming a physiotherapist. For becoming physiotherapist, the aspiring candidates must have taken bachelor's degree in physiotherapy. The basic qualification to get admission in this course is 12th class with physics, chemistry and biology as main subject. Some institute may also demand certain minimum percentage of marks in 12th class, which can be 50 to 55 percent for general category candidates and 45 to 50 percent for reserved category candidates. Certain other courses that can help you enter this profession are Diploma in Physiotherapy, BSc Physiotherapy and PG Diploma in Physiotherapy etc. Along with these eligibility conditions, you must have certain set of required skills to be a successful physiotherapist like As with any career in the medical profession, care and empathy is as important as scientific knowledge. So you should have all these traits for sure. You should have broad knowledge of medical discipline and human anatomy. You should also possess an excellent communication and interpersonal skills, compassion and willingness to commit to ongoing study. In addition to these, a good physiotherapist should have the ability to deal with patients of all walk of life with love and should have the ability to understand their behavior. And the foremost required skill for becoming a successful physiotherapist is capacity to work for long hours with never say die attitude. If you have all these basic traits, then I am sure you are pretty fit for this profession. If you are really looking forward to be a physiotherapist, then the knowledge of the process to become a physiotherapist is a must. So as a first step, you have to complete your 12th class, preferably in the medical stream with physics, chemistry and biology as main subjects at this level. Once you have done with your 12th class, you need to take admission in the 3 to 4 years Bachelor of Physiotherapy that is BPT course of some reputed physiotherapy institute. Although courses like Diploma in Physiotherapy, BSc Physiotherapy and PG Diploma in Physiotherapy etc. can also help you become a physiotherapist. But a specialized degree of field like that of Bachelor of Physiotherapy can help you jumpstart your career in the field. For getting admission in some of the reputed physiotherapy institute, you may have to clear some sort of entrance exam taken at the institute, state or national level. 
These exams are generally held in month of May or June and consist of objective type questions on the subject of English, Physics, Chemistry, Biology through a number of questions and pattern may vary from test to test. After completing this three and a half years of BPT degree course and six months of compulsory training, one can opt for some job in private or state-run hospitals or go for private practice after obtaining the necessary affiliation with respective medical councils or go for higher specialized course like Master of Physiotherapy etc. in the respective fields. Now let me tell you about some of the entrance exams that can help you get admission in some of the best physiotherapy institutes of India. For getting admission in physiotherapy courses, you can appear in entrance exams like NEET UG taken at national level and accepted by many physiotherapy colleges across India, IPU CET taken by Indraprastha University, LPU NEST taken by Lovely Professional University, IEM JEE taken by University of Engineering and Management and NILD CET taken by National Institute of Locomotor Disabilities etc. Now you will get to know about some of the colleges in India which offers physiotherapy courses. If you want to go for government institutes then there are institutes like Government Physiotherapy College Gujarat, Government Medical College Maharashtra, Punjabi University Patiala, Kerala University of Health Sciences, Khalsa College Amritsar, NIMS that is Nizam Institute of Medical Sciences Hyderabad and Institute of Postgraduate Medical Education and Research Kolkata. And if there is a need to go for private institutes, at that point there are institutes like Christian Medical College Ludhiana and Institute of Paramedical Sciences Kerala etc. Now I would like to answer the most eagerly asked question that is, what are the career prospects and job opportunities after becoming a physiotherapist? With the changing health conditions and lifestyle of the people, the requirement of physiotherapist has increased and this requirement is not going to cease in the coming time, thereby creating ample of opportunities for qualified and trained physiotherapists. After completing the course and necessary internship from some reputed physiotherapy institute, you can find employment opportunities both in private as well as public sector. You can find employment with rehabilitation centers, sports club, fitness centers, healthcare institutions and healthcare and physical fitness equipment manufacturing industry. Government and private hospitals as physiotherapist with various specializations, exercise physiologist, health service manager, marketing manager, personal trainer and sports therapist. If you are more into academics, then you can go for master's degree in physiotherapy followed by PhD in the related field and find employment in physiotherapy colleges or universities as lecturer or instructor besides going for the research and development. And if you have some sort of entrepreneurial skills along with your professional skill, then you can go for your own practice and open physiotherapy center or can open your clinic and work with your own terms and conditions. Now I would like to tell you about some of the recruiters that you can think of joining after your physiotherapist course. The recruiting organizations judge the qualification and skills of the individual and then offer them a job they have. If you have really good skills of your field then you can very well find employment in the big names like Apollo and Fortis healthcare centers in private sector, multi-speciality hospitals like AIMS, AFMC and PGI etc in government sector, Spectrum Physio Center, sports club like Mohan Bagan and IPL franchise and national cricket team along with other sports associations. Besides getting employment in police, paramilitary and defense forces as a physiotherapist. Now the most eagerly asked question and that question is what are the expected pay packages or salary for a physiotherapist? Physiotherapist is a very promising, rewarding and a satisfying profession. As far as monetary remuneration are concerned, they are no less than any other profession in the field of medicine. However, salary may vary greatly depending upon one's qualification as well as the expertise in the field. As a fresher in the private sector, you can expect to get anything between Rs 3 lakhs per annum to Rs 5 lakhs per annum. Whereas in the government sector, it depends upon the prevailing pay scales in the state you are working. If in government sector, you get lots of other perks like HRA, LTC, medical allowance with your basic pay, 
then there is every chance of doubling or tripling your pay in the private sector with the display of your skills and making some name in the field. So I can say that the career is rewarding not only in the government but also private sector. And if you want to go for your own private practice and open your own physiotherapy center, then your skills may help you earn in lakhs and get paid on hourly basis. And mind you, there are all monetary gains comes with a much greater sense of satisfaction that you get by healing people and getting them rid of their pain and agony. Hopefully, the information given here will be helpful for candidates who are interested in becoming a physiotherapist. If you still have any more questions, you can let us know in the comment section. We'll do our best to provide the right information to you shortly. Hope you like this video. If it is really so, please hit the like button. For daily notification, please subscribe to Target Study YouTube channel. We'll be back with some more videos. Till then, remain well and safe. Good luck.